Hi team. So I wanted to address, are you coachable? One of the first things I always tell people when they sign up and they have questions is I can coach anybody who is coachable. Anybody who is willing to be coached, I can coach how to do this business because it's no magic formula, right? We book, we sell, we sponsor, we are consistent and we have patience. That is what grows our business. And anybody can be taught these things. However, most of us have never done direct sales before. So we are all learning from our sponsors, from our upline, we're all learning from each other. So this is kind of an opportunity to take a good hard look at ourselves because we all have traits that we can work on. It's really hard to admit that, right? But it's true, we all have things. So today we're gonna take some time and discover, are we coachable? Are you coachable? Am I coachable? So here are some traits of a non-coachable person. And I have a, a whole notes. I took notes on this because it's really important. It's really important. So uncoachable people are closed off to new ideas. And so let's say you reach out to your sponsor and you're like, no, having some trouble booking some parties. What can I do? And your sponsor is like, oh, all right. Have you tried reaching out to 100 people on your list? Have you made your 100 list? Have you, um, you know, gone into your past parties and messaged people in the past parties? And you know, that person's like, well, no, I, you know, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to, I'm not going to make a list of a hundred people. I'm not going to do that. Well, that creates a roadblock, right? Because you're the person you reached out for to for help is trying to brainstorm with you and trying to work with you and you're shutting her down. So when you continue to shut her down, no, I'm not going to do that. No, that's not a good idea because you're scared maybe because it's out of your comfort zone you're creating a roadblock and you can't really move forward when you put up the roadblocks. Remember that the way that this network is built, the way that our business is built is that we are all learning from people who are doing things successfully. So my success is because I learned from other people who learned from other people who learned from other people all the way to the very top. And that's the beauty of this business. We have these team pages, we have these resources. So we are always learning. So if you are closed off to new ideas, you're not going to build your business. Um, you Maybe you think your way is the only way. And we all know people like this. Mother-in-laws, mother-in-laws. We all know people like this. Well, I know best. I know best. Um, even if those aren't the words that that person is saying, the attitude, the way they present themselves. I know best and everybody else is wrong. Well, okay. You know, what kind of thing can you say back to somebody when every idea you give them gets shut down? Now, let me preface this with this is not about anybody specifically. This is not about an incident that occurred. No, in general, this is just a big part of our business. Being coachable um, doesn't follow through on tasks. You know, I realize there's a lot of team pages, but whatever team page you're most active in, whichever um, upline you spend your most time focused on, you know, we all post tasks, right? And they're not, right, we're not bosses. So if I post a task, hey everybody, I want you to try and complete the face-to-face -face challenge. I'm not saying you have to do it, but coachable people are more likely to participate in these things because their end result is to grow their business and they want to try any way they can. Uncoachable people probably aren't going to do those things. And that ties in with, you know, their way is best or they don't think these ideas work, even though tired and true methods prove well, these things do work. If you're not a coachable person, you're probably not doing the tasks that are showing up in the team pages. Um, this is a big one. Do you make excuses? Do you make excuses for why things don't work? Well, I had a flop party because the hostess didn't participate. Well, I can't sell any makeup because I don't have a lot of friends on Facebook. I can't meet new people because I live in an isolated area. I blah, 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 blah. Goes on and on and on. Do we make excuses? We all make excuses, but some people just tend to make them more than others. Now, guys, I'm not perfect. I bet you I could sit down with this list and really start to look inside and find places where I can grow. And you know what? I'm going to, because when I got this idea about why this was a, an important topic, I thought, you know, Molly, you should sit down and see how you can grow and how that can help your business. It's hard to look inside, and find the things that maybe aren't the best traits about ourselves, but it's so worth it when we can grow and achieve and our, build our businesses. Um, uncoachable people are really easily defensive and 
you know, they're quick to jump at you, defending, you know, whatever you say, they have an answer back, bite back at you. And those people are just really difficult to work with because it all goes back to the beginning. You can't have communication if somebody completely sets up roadblocks and doesn't give you the chance to coach them. So, um, you know, some sometimes you might have somebody, you know, your upline, your sponsor, whatever, come to be like, hey, you know, I noticed you could definitely hit pink this month, um, but you know, your PRS is kind of consistently on the lower end. What if we work together to get your PRS high? And you start giving her attitude, well, how dare you come and tell me that my PRS, blah, 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 blah. Well, she's not coming to you to criticize you. She's coming to you because she sees your potential to do big things. And the role of the sponsor Bare minimum, a good sponsor, her goal is to get her teams to their goals. So if she's reaching out to you, it's because she wants you to achieve your goal and she has ideas to help you. Listen to them, listen to them, right? It can't hurt to give them a try. So one of the big reasons people who are uncoachable act this way and put up these defenses is because they're afraid. And a big part of this business is getting out of your comfort zone, right? How many of us have pushed ourselves to do things that scare us? You know, put those videos out there, go out with the bare face, do something like a vendor show where we have to talk to a lot of people in person. But the more we push ourselves, the more we try things that make us nervous, in the end, it typically actually makes us bigger, uh, better people, better presenters, grows our business. Um, I can speak personally to this. You know, I've never been an especially shy person, but if you look at my growth, my personal growth from when I started Unique to now, I feel so, I have grown so much as a person. I am so much more confident than I was a year and a half ago. I am so happy I have found purpose in different areas of my life that I didn't have before and it shows and I've been told that people can tell me I, I can see it in you and it sounds cheesy but it is from pushing myself and making myself try new things and finding out that in the end it's not so scary it's not so scary so are you a coachable person well here's some traits of coachable people they are open and ready for feedback so even if the feedback is you know you gotta get your sales up because you are not gonna promote doing the bare minimum every month. Instead of being like, well, you don't know what my life is like and I'm busy, okay. Instead of that, she might be like, you know, you're right. And I haven't been focusing on my PRS because of whatever, but I've decided I want this, so I'm gonna work on that. How can I help me? See the difference? Um, vulnerable. Vulnerable enough to know and realize that we don't know it all. We don't know it all. I am learning every single day in this business. Every day I'm learning. And I'm open to that because I don't know it all. <laughs> you know, if I knew it all, I would have started this business myself. No, I don't know. And I'm learning. And I am so thankful that I can learn and I don't have to do it all by myself. So be open to learn. Being open to learn. And um, willingness to follow through. To try those new things. To step outside of your comfort zone. These people are coachable. You know, like I said, book, sell, sponsor, um, consistency and patience. It's gonna get you there, but all of those things are learned skills. They're learned and we can help each other learn, okay? So my advice, take some time. Take a good look at yourself. If any of those things I talked about, if you can think of a time that maybe in this business you've acted that way or felt that way, and I'm sure we all have at some point, Take a good look be like, how can I turn that trade around and become more coachable so my business can grow? How can I do it? We all can do it. We are all growing. I don't feel like our journeys are ever done, right? We can always better ourselves. Okay, that was long. <laughs>